Uh, with that, I was not getting blackheads, and if I got any, it used to clear it out really well. Current. Hi, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Skin Talk with Zara. And today we are targeting blackheads. Today I'm going to share with you all five tips uh, to prevent blackheads as well as to cure them if you have any stubborn blackheads currently on your face. So these five tips are all you have to follow to never have to face those stubborn blackheads again. Like you can see, I'm sitting bare face. I always sit bare face in my skincare videos. And blackheads is one such issue which I'm sure short never facing because I always take care of my pores. Really well. So my pore care routine is what I'm going to share in today's video with you all. So if you are interested, then continue watching. But if this is the first time you've come onto my channel, then hi, I'm Sara. I make honest beauty reviews, relatable makeup and skincare content, and a lot of fun vlogs here on my channel. So if this is the first time you've come on here, then please take a moment and hit the subscribe button and join the Sara Squad, and also click the bell icon right next to it so that every time I upload a video, which is Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, you get notified. Okay, before we dive into the tips that I have for you all, let's target. What a blackhead basically is. So if we have a better understanding of that, we can target the approach really well. A blackhead is basically a clogged pore, which is more visible in this area of your face. So when you have all this pollution, gunk, dirt, your residual makeup, all of that, which is basically clogging your pores of your skin, and then it gets trapped over there, and then it gets oxidized by the air, which is why it gives you that black appearance on top. So basically, what the root cause of all this is a clogged pore, and what you got to take care of is your pores. So now. Pores is something which is such a hot topic, but when it comes to pores, a lot of people think you can get rid of pores. You can't really get rid of pores. That is a question which I never have an answer for because pores is what helps your skin breathe. You need them on your skin. Yes, some people do have larger pores, and you can minimize their appearance, and you can keep them healthy and clean so as to not face whitehead and blackhead issues. But that is all you can do, and that is what we are going to target in today's video: a pore care routine. So the first. Tip that I have for you all is stop using nose strips. Now I know it's very satisfying to see those Instagram videos and see those pore strips just remove all your blackheads and your whiteheads and the gunk really well. And you know, seeing all of that in front of your eyes can be very satisfying. I have done it back in the day, but what I've realized is using those things actually loosens your pores over time, which makes them more susceptible to gather that gunk, that dirt, and more susceptible to blackheads. So it's like a marketing strategy all over. It's become very hyped because of Instagram videos. But what happens is you have to keep purchasing them because that's a problem that will never really go. It's over time loosening your pores and over time increasing your blackhead issues. So if you are using no strips, if you have been caught up in that whole vicious cycle of marketing, then stop doing that. Instead, what I have for you all is tip number two, which is a product which is marketed in the right way, is for the right reasons and will not harm your skin in the long run, and that is clay masks. So clay masks, which are specifically targeted for pore cleansing, for getting rid of gunk and dirt, those work really effectively and really well. One such clay mask which I really stand by is the Clinique City Block uh, Purifying Charcoal Clay Mask. This is the one I use on my T zone. When my T zone develops some really stubborn blackheads, it really takes care of it in literally 10 minutes. Applying this on your T zone, letting it dry for 10 to 15 minutes, and then washing it off while loosely, very lightly scrubbing in this area. I don't apply it all over my face because. This is the targeted area of concern, so let's stick to only that, and then just washing it off. You will see the difference in literally those 15 minutes, and it's not loosening your pores. It's not really harming overall skin because uh, such a mask does tend to have more coarser particles. So overall, I have tender skin, so I will not apply all over my face. I will only apply in my targeted area of concern, which is my T zone. So that's how you go about with these masks. Another mask by L'Oreal, which comes in those uh, glass packaging, the L'Oreal clay mask, and insert. Image here. I just ran out of mine. That one was also really, really good and did the job really effectively. Using that just once a week was enough for me. And with that, I was not getting blackheads. And if I got any, it used to clear it out really well. Currently, I'm using this one. The third ingredient slash tip slash product that works really well for a deep cleansing of your pore is a BHA. That is a beta hydroxy acid. Now, a BHA, like a salicylic acid, again does the same job of cleansing your pores really well from deep within, and then just opens up this clog. 
out pores and gets rid of the impurities, the gunk and all of that that you have going on. So the product I like which has BHA and does the job really well for me is the Dr. Shades Neem and BHA Serum. How I use this specifically for my blackheads is, is again just applying it in the targeted area in this area of my nose and like over here and then sleeping with it like applying like a thick layer of this and sleeping with it. I do it like twice or thrice a week and it takes care of my blackheads, my pores and keeps them like clean and honestly I don't really suffer from blackheads because I follow this routine really really well and I take care of my pores really well if you do all of this your pores will always be clean and never really again will you face those dirty gunky blackheads on your nose that you'll have to go ahead and extract and do all of that for which I will get on to tip number four and that is stop extracting your blackheads that is something that even I am guilty of doing in the past but what I've realized is that when we extract our blackheads on our own since we don't have that much of a skill with our hands it ends to leave a deeper scar in your blackheads might come off again it might be very satisfying to see them on that plucker but it leaves very deep seated scars and my nose tends to develop these like hyperpigmented spots which takes you know some time to go off so it's like one trouble is gone and the other trouble comes in which is the deep scarring so extraction can definitely be done for blackheads but leave that to an expert if you want to go for that go to a dermat and go get it done go to a clinic where you do it don't even go to your parlor aunties because they are also not skilled for that go to a proper clinic where it's done and you can get like your blackheads extracted if you have really really stubborn blackheads and then following this pore care routine will take care of you for good but don't extract your blackheads at home you're doing more harm than good for your skin instead what you can do is the pre-step which you do before extraction right you do steaming before extraction so you can steam your uh, face once a week now with the covid thing everybody was taking steam i'm guessing every single day which was also not very good for your skin but in case you weren't like me i was not taking steam every single day but i do take steam once a week for just you know letting the blood circulation rush back to my face for letting my pores really open up and breathe and then after that i apply my clay mask and like you know take away all of those impurities and just like the perfect routine that's such a pamper sesh for my skin taking steam letting my skin breathe letting my pores breathe then applying clay mask getting rid of all the gunk and all the impurities especially the clinic one has activated charcoal so it really attracts all of the impurities gets rid of that and then i have nice clear glowing skin and a nice clear glowing nose and the last that is the fifth tip slash step that I have that I want to advise you all is to start using an oil cleansing routine so basically if you're using makeup on a daily or an occasional basis even or even if you're using sunscreen which you should these are heavy products which again tend to clog your pores or uh, not just pollution and outside dust but all of these products also clog your pores so effectively cleansing them is very important so that they don't get trapped in your pores and then again lead to stubborn blackheads so at the end of the day when you're taking your sunscreen off and just cleansing your face instead of just going in with a face wash which is your cleanser instead of just doing that do an oil cleanse now oil cleanse will essentially involve a previous step of using a cleansing balm a cleansing balm the one i recommend is by earth rhythm this is your earth rhythm propolis cleansing balm this is the one i use you can also use a clinic take the day off balm or any other cleansing balm which has basically an oil base to it what you have to do is take a little bit on your hand like a very small amount massage it really really well into your skin let it emulsify your skin for a good 60 seconds what this does is like it breaks down all of your makeup on your face breaks down the sunscreen on your face even sunscreen can be very heavy for your face so it does a good job of breaking it all down just for 60 seconds nothing more nothing less and then after that you splash some water on your face and rinse your face really well with your face wash this double cleanse with an oil cleanser will effectively cleanse your pores really well your pores will be shining they will not be clogged with any of the products that you've layered and your skin will be healthy and breathing so after i started incorporating an oil cleansing routine i can effectively see a very minimized amount of like blackhead irritation on my nose like i barely see a blackhead once in like you know three to four weeks i will see a little bit of a blackhead and then just applying my clay mask will get rid of that as well so this is all the five steps i had to share with you all i will leave the links to some of the product recommendations for you all in the description box so do check that out let me know if you found this video helpful in the comment section and which other five tips or five things you all want me to share i've done five hyperpigmentation tips for you all before i've done chemical exfoliation 101 video for you all before so let me know what other topics you all want me to target for skin talk 
comfort Sara episodes. All of that in the comment section. If you did like today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. For today's video, the Sara Score shout out goes to Vidhi Ginodia. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you want to be a part of next video, Sara Score shout out, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button, the bell icon right next to it, and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag Sara Scored. And you get a chance to be a part of my next video, Sara Score shout out. I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye guys, take care. I love you. Mwah.